It's okay. Hi, Hi Facebook <coughs> Live peeps. I'm sorry. I did something in my throat. You need to stop and go get water? No. You're good. All right. We are here for marketing rule number six. Marketing rule number six. Okay, marketing. Draw. Thank you for the drum roll. Marketing rule six is urgency. Is in there needs to be a reason for your prospect or client to respond right now. And right I'm now. Six. Right now. I just right six. now. Yes, you just turned six. Right now. Right now. Right you now. Right now. That I have makeup on. Yes, you have makeup on. Okay, so marketing rule number six: reason to respond right now. So if you do not give your prospects a compelling reason to decide right to decide right now to do something right now, they will not. They will procrastinate. It is human nature. They will put it off as long as possible until they forget about it and they don't do anything. Ha ha, Richard says, hey girls. Hi, Richard. So what are reasons why you could give them they need to respond right now? For example, I just did a training for financial advisors and insurance agents earlier today, and the offer we made them had a 24-hour deadline on it. If they don't buy in 24 hours, the price goes up. So they have to have, they have a reason to decide right now, to take action right now. If they want to procrastinate, that's fine. It'll just cost them money. So, thanks. So (laughs) there has to be a reason to respond right now. It could be because the price is changing. It could be because your offer is expiring. It could be because there's a deadline. It could be the sale ends. It could be, heck, yes, it could be Halloween is over. It could be a Black Friday special. It could be Cyber Monday special. Are you crazy? What's up? Um, I have another example of this. Like in school when a project is due, you can't procrastinate or else you won't get it in time. So you should do it. Like we're an assignment if you have for like your employees. It should be like due so that they don't procrastinate a bunch. That is an awesome idea. So school has deadlines, right? You got to turn your homework in. You got to yeah. test. You got to study for. So it is. So you could use deadlines as well. Um, we find deadline. The shorter the deadline, usually the better results you get. So the longest I would go out is 14 days at the absolute max. I wouldn't do 14 days for a buy, but maybe for a contest giveaway. Maybe it's in 14 days you're announcing the winner. We do that a lot for contests. We do seven to 14 days. Uh, Contests are actually really good for urgency. Yes, contests are really, you got to enter by this date, and you can't enter after that, and then the winner is announced on a certain day. Right, use the contest format when you're creating, like, deadlines and wanting urgency. Use that kind of format, because that's kind of the easiest way. That is an easy way to get built-in scarcity, built-in urgency, absolutely right. And I forgot what else I was going to say. Reasons to respond right now um, so that they're in or they're out. They have to make a decision. Um, for example, oh, that's what I was going to say. Like they, Shark Tank, when they have to decide before like the presentation is over if they're in or out. Right, and then they will make an offer, and the contestant, the business pitching, has to make accept an offer, like Mark Cuban is famous for saying, you have a 24-second shot clock, and then I'm taking my offer away. Um, we find the majority of people will do the buying or opting in at the very last minute you know i did a webinar presentation today and on that webinar we had uh like 206 people and the funny thing was we had 112 maybe register the week before when we started mailing for it and the more people more the last hundred people registered yesterday in this morning like the webinar was i think at one o'clock eastern time and we had easily 50 people register today who put it off till the last minute and then registered and we will get the most number of people buying our offer uh there's a 24-hour deadline so i think at one o'clock tomorrow eastern time the deadline expires and the price goes back up um we will get the most of the buys literally right before one o'clock like 12 58 people will be buying because then they're forced to make a decision. So you absolutely want to force them to make decisions so that they take action. And if you don't, you could just get no sales for a very long time. Like, Daddy, you know how the price goes up when we sell the first 100 copies of Fastest Raindrops? Yes. People think, like, oh, I have as much time as they want, when if we used a deadline for that, they would have bought quicker. 
That is an excellent idea, and we should totally do that. So I forgot to do that. Oops. So sometimes you don't drink your own Kool-Aid all the time. So Ella's talking about her book. She wrote a children's book called The Fastest Raindrop, which she was on CBS News 4, and you can get it at ellaraygreen.com. Ella, R-A-E, Green, G-R-E-N-E.com. So ellaraygreen.com, you can check out her news story and her, her media coverage and her children's book. And... Aw, uh, Richard says you're a marketing guru in the making. <laughs> it's all from this guy. <laughs> oh, man, you can't get a better testimonial than that, right? No, she's biased, though. That's the problem. This guy! Uh, so, this guy. yes, we didn't. I forgot to put a countdown timer on your book website, so I will go put one of those on. So if you want to go get a book from Ella, uh, I think it's $7.95. It's free. Plus, you discover the shipping. It's a children's board book. You'll love it. It's cute. Um, you don't have to be a kid to read it and I will go, I'm going to go put a countdown timer on there tomorrow. So you better buy now from her. Otherwise the price is going to go up. We're uh, running out of books. We're running. Um, and Lily says we're running out of books. That would be another reason to respond right now. Cause, uh, we get hers because it's a children's board book. We get them printed in China and, read a book. and it takes a long time. It's a slow boat to get here from China. It takes like six weeks to get here. Otherwise, if we wanted like super fast shipping on a plane with like a week or two, it's 500 books weighs a lot. So it's a ginormous amount of shipping. So we take the slow boat road. Slow boat. Slow boat. So wow. rule number six, got to have a reason to respond right now. Urgency people, urgency. Urgency people, urgency. You heard it here first. <laughs> um, stay tuned till tomorrow when we talk about marketing rule number. Lucky number seven. We will see you all tomorrow.